Welcome to Westminster College Center for Financial Wellness. This lesson is a review of transactions and of the financial statements. We'll have two videos related to this review, and this video is part one. We have three goals for this lesson. First, we're going to review how to analyze transactions using the balance sheet equation. We are going to review the cumulative impact of those transactions on the four main financial statements. And then we're going to review the purpose of the four main financial statements. Through this course, we focused on the balance sheet and the income statement, but in this lesson, we'll also include the cash flow and the statement of stockholders' equity. All right. As in previous lessons, you will be actively participating in analyzing some business transactions. So please access, open, and save the CFW Review Transactions and Financial Statements Workbook. We'll use the same methodology, looking at balance sheet and the income statement. So go ahead and pause the video now and open and access and review that workbook. All right, listed here are some of the transactions that are listed in that review workbook. This is a self-guided review of transactions. So I want to explain how it works and access the workbook. All right, here's the list of transactions. And here is on this worksheet, the balance sheet equation that we're used to using related to those transactions. And then finally, there's a financial statement worksheet. We'll look at this later. All right, so if I'm gonna do this review, I'm gonna look at the transaction. So CSI was started when it acquired $9,000 worth of cash by issuing common stock. So I'm gonna go over here and I know that they issued common stock. And that, that also impacts equity in the contributed capital area, which is common stock. Okay, you'll notice that when I input those, they turn green. That means, woohoo, I did it correct. That's how this is self-guided. If I put in the wrong amount, or if I put the, uh, the amount in incorrectly, I put it in as a negative, it's not going to show up. If I put it in the wrong account column, it's not gonna show up. So you, you are awarded by putting in the right amount in the right impact, negative or positive, in the right account. So you're gonna have to kind of keep straight and make sure that you're entering on the row that relates to the transactions shown on this page. Okay, one other little aid I've got here, let me find one that will work. Um, if you impact retained earnings, you'll see you'll get a little reminder that you've changed your retained earnings. So now think about the income statement. So there's just a couple of aids in here. If that's what you're gonna do to go through um, three years of transactions. There's quite a few, but it'll be a good review. Um, if you can't remember how to do one, just go back to the related lesson on cash transactions or accrual transactions or product-based transactions or adjusting transactions, all right? Um, ultimately, it's not catastrophic if you don't get exactly everything correct, but you do want to aim to get as much correct as possible, all right? Okay, here's a list of the second years of operations transactions. You need to enter these in the balance sheet equation like I showed you and these also. So after completing all these transactions, you'll be ready to proceed to the next section of this lesson, reviewing the financial statements. This is the end of this video. You'll want to pick up the part two video when you are completed and ready to review. My name is Rick Haskell, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video as part of the Bill and Vive Gore School of Business's Business Certificate Series. I'm a finance professor in the business school, where I'm also the director for the college's Center for Financial Wellness. 
The Business Certificate Series is offered through the Center as part of our outreach through the Gore School of Business. You can follow us on social media through Westminster's Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, or Facebook pages. You can use the QR codes provided or simply go to these websites. Thank you.